folks, welcome to the channel. I'm Don. This is Rockin' the Country. I'm doing a gift request today, Montauk Edge. Shout out to you. Thank you for this gift. You're all heart, as evidenced by the songs that you request and want to see me like sometimes struggle through or just interpret. And, uh, you know, they tend to be linguistically and thematically involved. This song is no exception. I reacted to the song of Matt Kennan's four or five years ago. It was very early in the channel. And then I took it down for some reason. I think there was a copyright issue somewhere in there. Re-uploaded it like a year and a half ago or so. So this is going to be a review, even though each scene in the video and, and lyric, I know where the song is heading, but I've reacted to a couple of songs a second time, usually with gift requests. And I see things very differently each new time. It's kind of like reading poetry, right, Jerry? Where each time you see or hear a, a song that has such depth, you pick up on something new. So I'm going with this one. Especially those of you who are new to the channel may not have seen all 3,000 or so react, 2,500 reactions I've done. This may be a first time for you seeing me react to it. So, all right, here we go. Matt Kennan's. The call. It's the official video. Today was gonna be the day he'd already wrote the note and parked that Chevrolet at the end of that dead end road. Had his finger on the trigger. Just about to end everything He was taking one last long breath When he heard his cell phone ring And his best friend said Man, where you been? We're heading down to the lake this weekend I got you better pumps. not miss it Cause buddy, I swear It won't be the same If you ain't there And I told that girl that you like so much That's hit me harder than it did the first time around, man. Damn. The older you get, well, I'm four years older than when I first reacted to it. The sappier you get, but it's real. You feel people's heart. You see how their compassion and love and willingness to struggle and suffer for something they believe in it carries it through. And those are just so powerfully touching to me. Either way, all she could say. She felt those teardrops fall I'm so glad you called At age 18, nonetheless, you know Someone you know is weighing on your mind It needs a friend on the other end of the line Don't hesitate what you say may seem so small But who knows They might be glad you called 
to make the call Yeah, make yeah. that call Yeah, I mean, you know, the soldier who would come back, you tend to think, all right, he's seen so many things in war and he just can't excise those demons, so to speak, those brutal memories. But that's not always what it's about in life. In fact, for everybody in varying degrees, it's about feeling welcome. Welcome. This world doesn't make you feel welcome. It's difficult being human. I mean, just take we're aware that we're going to die one day. We contemplate its implications in varying measures. Most people avoid it, but we know it's coming. And that sets the backdrop to whatever we want to get done in this life or don't. But the world is a very unwelcoming place in so many ways where there are just challenges. Something could go wrong. The next person you meet might be crazy or mean or the people in your own family. I mean, I guess that's why I moved at measures of kindness. Uh, you know, like the the buddy's like, hey, man, where you been, man? We're, we're, <laughs> it won't be the same without you here. He was referring to at the party, but the way the the guy in the pickup truck who was going to kill himself took it, it, it was in a much broader sense. Like, wow, not just in this instance, will it be different if I'm not here? In a much broader, uh, if I'm not here in life, what's that going to be like for everybody? But there's a girl. I've co- I mean, God forbid you throw a pretty sweet girl who's like, hey, he's coming. And you're like, oh, talk about feeling welcome. That's all it takes, you know. It, it really doesn't take much to, to validate another person's existence. And I basically live for that. And it's not better or worse than other people's ways of doing things. Not everybody can be a sap like me, you know? I mean, I would make a, like, Steve Swags, I couldn't do what you do. I couldn't be a cop because I couldn't write a ticket. I couldn't make somebody unhappy in the moment. I was a horrible salesperson, too, when I was in sales decades ago because I didn't want to be the unwanted person on the other end of the phone or making that cold call. Other people can do that, and they need to be able to. We need people who can do this stuff. We need people who can do law and order. We need judges who can sentence somebody to death if they've killed a bunch of people or whatever. Well, depending on your views of the death penalty, and I understand multiple sides of that issue, but I'm just saying you got to have people who can make those hard decisions. In most cases, that's not me, but I this kind of stuff where you reach out to help people stick with it and make them feel warm or welcome or connect the dots for them in life to help them sort through these real issues. And they are real issues. I love real issues. I love going after the hardcore issues, like a fireman going into a fire. I like doing that with people, but you could just see how just a simple phone call from a buddy, like, Hey man, where you at? The girl's here. And you're like, well, he, He just connected a dot for his buddy to get him to the party. Man, uh, and then the pregnancy thing, you know, the 18-year-olds. I mean, how many of us haven't had scares like that at younger ages and stuff? And But in this case, she was so glad he made that call because she wanted to have the baby, but she's an 18-year-old. She was going off to college. He was going to college. What are we going to do? We're going to set. They showed them happy, of course, in the video. There are moments of stress and confusion and arguments and all that, but it can work. I mean, and that's what they're giving their, themselves a shot at doing. So I'll rate this one, Montauk Ed. I like the scene on the boat. That wasn't on the sound, not where you're at. Certainly wasn't on the ocean, not with the trees in the background the way they were. That looked like a lake in New Jersey, actually, or Pennsylvania. Oh, God, do I even want to rate that one? You know what? I'm putting that in the 10. That's a 10. Uh, any song that can get me cry, half crying like that and s- just, I don't know, it speaks to my soul in a deep way. And that prejudices me in favor of a song. It just look to validate another person's existence. You don't have to agree with them. They could be different political party, different religion, whatever. But if they're a nice person, 
I just look to validate their existence. So, uh, and you don't even have to know them. You could just say something nice to somebody in the checkout line in the grocery store. Like, hey, man, that's a cool ass jacket or whatever. I don't know. All right, guys, that'll do it. Woo! Have a great day. Make a call. See you on another video and keep rocking the country.